Hey, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So about three weeks ago, I posted a video that Microsoft had started the rollout of Windows 11 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update, to the release preview channel. And there's been quite a lot going on. And then I posted about a week or so after that, that um, if you were not seeing Windows 11 24H2 in release preview, I showed you how to get it. And then I posted uh, last week that um, Microsoft had paused the Windows 11 24H2 rollout for the release preview insiders without giving us too much information why they did. And all of those videos will be linked in the end screen if you'd just like to play catch up and would like to get some more information. Now just to let you know that Microsoft now um, on Saturday actually the 15th of June and very strange they rolled out an update um, on Saturday, they've mentioned that they have resumed the rollout of Windows 11 24H2 to the release preview channel with bold 26,100.863, which basically means that insiders in the release preview channel um, whose devices meet the system requirements will uh, be able to download and test the upcoming Windows 11 update uh, before its public release later this year, um, starting October, sorry, starting September into October 2024. So obviously, if you are in release preview and you have the uh, your device meets the system requirements, uh, you can head to your update and check for updates to seek for the update to get that onto your system sooner than later. Now, this was all made available with the latest update for Windows 11 24H2, which rolled out um, on Saturday the 15th which is KB5039239, which, as mentioned, bumps that build up to 26100.863. And just take note, though, that the update uh, is only available for Copilot Plus uh, PCs um, at the stage. So just take note of that. So um, you won't get this update if you don't have a Copilot Plus PC. Now, just to go through some of the highlights um, of... KB5039239, um, if you do have the necessary hardware and you find yourself in release preview, um, there are three highlights. The update addresses an issue that affects the audio for a Bluetooth device when you connect it. Um, apparently, the volume was set to a maximum. It also addresses an issue that might stop games um, that have Battle R anti-cheat from working. And this apparently applies to ARM64 devices. And Microsoft say they are also advancing uh, the Copilot experience on Windows 11. And I have posted on this previously, and that video will also be linked in the end screen. So quite a lot going on in the end screen of this video. And with this update, uh, Copilot is now pinned to the taskbar, as we can see, and will behave basically like an app. So you'll be able to move it around, resize it, which I think is a nice move, because currently, as you may well know, Copilot is only found... Um, fixed to the right hand desktop position and uh, um, Microsoft says basically this gives you the benefits of a typical app experience so as um, I mentioned previously you can do things like resize move and snap the window so I think that's a small yet significant change if you do find yourself using Microsoft Copilot for the desktop um, on a regular basis and then there is a security update that's also rolled out with this latest update and Apparently, the update affects the Windows Management Instrumentation command line, the default state of, of feature on demand, FOD for short, for new installations is disabled. And if you upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2, the default state of uh, feature on demand is enabled. And then obviously, over and above that, we get security vulnerabilities that have been patched. So we also get um, security holes, other security holes patched in Windows 11 24H2 in release preview. And that's about it, guys. That's, as mentioned, the rollout has resumed for 24H2 in release preview. Well, that recent update, which rolled out, funny enough, on a Saturday, which isn't normally the case, KB5039239. And we are expecting uh, Windows 11 24H2 to start rolling out to the general public starting um, possibly end of September, moving into October and November. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.